This is an Ionix IQ series and it has the uh, brine tank here. Now this is a intro about these water softeners because I can't couldn't find anything online that actually described exactly what they were doing in layman's terms that anybody can understand. So anyway, I'll give you the rundown. What it does is this is actually the water softener here. It pumps water in through one of the pipes and filters the water, softens it, and then sends it back out the other pipe up to the rest of the house. Uh, now, why do we need this brine tank? It's because inside here, inside the water softener itself, are uh, resin is a resin filter, a carbon filter, or some other kind of filter that actually cleans the water. So what happens is those water or those filters get used, and the more they get used, the uh, less uh, effective they are. So what happens is this the water uh, softener kicks on a pump which pulls salt water out of the brine tank and runs it up through the through the filters and that's called regeneration because it regenerates the resin inside the uh, water tank inside the water softener then after it sends the salt water through it it pumps the salt water out through a drain which goes out to your plumbing or outside if you're using potassium instead of salt but after the, after the salt water goes through, then it pulls more water in and runs the water through it to clear out the salt. So if you have any saltiness tasting in your water, it's probably because the rinse cycle isn't rinsing enough or something like that probably. But once the rinse cycle is done, then it starts, uh, starts softening your water again. Now, <clears throat> inside the uh, softener, uh, most of the dials, a lot of the dials look the same but they all pretty much have the same thing. Basically this big one is where you set the time of day. You have to push a little red button like this in, turn your wheel to set it to the right time, you know, approximately the right time. Right there it says time of day. Um, just get it, got to get it close. And over here this little smaller wheel really determines how often it's going to regenerate your resin filter inside. So they say how many gallons do you want to go through before you... Um, how many gallons of water do you want to go through before uh, the regeneration cycle goes? Basically, they figure that up by the number of people. You might have this, little, this thing called a people dial out here, and inside is the uh, grain, uh, the grain in your water. And you got to you pull this out like this, and you, you pull it out a little bit, and you got to hold this little back wheel back a little bit. You can pull this out and twist it, and basically you're setting your gallons up here. How many gallons you want until the next rinse? Till the next regeneration cycle now if you have if there's just a few of you you can set up actually it doesn't matter how many people there are it depends on how often you want your gallons to regenerate some people were setting this up at 22 which is like the highest you can go it's not focusing but down here you can set up to 22 and it's not 22 gallons it's 2200 gallons is what it really is so not knowing what I'm doing I set mine at 10 so I just got this installed my, as I did it myself, and I put it at 10 just to see how often it actually goes. It looks like in two days I've used 200 gallons of water. That's between me and a bunch of kids. So anyway, once once it's hooked up, once you get it all hooked up for the first time, uh, you want it to run through its cycle to clear out the to clean the resin and to let the regeneration cycle go. So to do that, you take this and you just turn it clockwise and until it until something happens and you stop and let it run. And you can tell when it's going to run by looking back here behind it and there are little pins back here in the back of this wheel right here you can see a couple and then there's a couple over here. These pins actually push a little timer over here on the side which kicks it off and makes it go. It's kind of all mechanical instead of electronic for the most part. Now this is a fancier one because it has this little wire over here that's actually counting the gallons that go through. So this one counts gallons, some of them count days and on a timer. Now if you're at home all the time, the timer one will be fine, but if you're not, this is the this is the preferred one because it only does so many gallons. Because the, the filters inside here, the resin filters and other stuff, can handle filtering so many gallons of water before they need to be regenerated. 
if you if you see you're getting soft water and you're not out of salt then probably you need to lower your gallons over here another thing is in the brine tank itself uh, another thing I had a hard time finding was how much salt do you put in these things well the answer is until the salt is above the water level and this one here is a little low but the water the salt can go it should go up to above the water level and uh, but I need some more salt and what and what happens during that regeneration cycle first you, you'll hear it it pulls water out of this uh, out of the brine tank um, and to push through all the resin filters and then at the end of the cycle it fills this back up it pumps more water back into this it's kind of a cool thing but this is an Ionix IQ I got it for 170 bucks off Craigslist and uh, so far it's been pretty good to get the drain on I, I hooked up a drain here I put this little thing it screws into the screws into there and, and tied it in and it goes over and it runs over here and just ties into the bottom of one of my clean outs at the bottom I just drilled a hole and glued it in and uh, and as far as this plumbing goes the main line went across up here and I cut it and ran ran it down here and I, I put this in here so you can actually have water come in around and back up to the rest of the house and then down here I got two more shutoffs so I can actually do the plumbing uh, I can shut off the plumbing to the softener and just and still have water to the house some of the pumps some of the tanks come with it built in or come with but if it's built in like this one is this one actually has a bypass built in you can pull this little handle pull this handle up and it'll bypass it but then if you want to take this out you still have to turn the water off to the whole house to replace it with this setup I didn't have to the uh, and also buying this used this tank came with water in it and so anytime I tried to solder all these joints the problem would be that the water in the tank would start to boil and steam would start coming out the seams so what I ended up having to do was put this little T in here and I put a screw on a female piece here then I did all the soldering to get it all in place and then lastly I built this little thing it was just just a little cap with the male screw on piece and just some extra pipe and once once all the all the soldering was done I screwed this on and it was perfect when I was soldering the last few joints even the uh, steam was flying out of this because it was just steaming inside here and there's nowhere for the water to sit except back inside the tank so somehow it was steaming out of there but anyway eh, quick overview this all this part does is it does the filtering of the water all this does is have salt in it to go through and clean the filters and the drain drain the drain the salt water out and the rinse water out knob to control the time of day and then this knob controls how much how often to regenerate the filters anyway it took me about two days and three trips to Lowe's to get all the plumbing done but it's really cool to have soft water <laughs>